What's going on? Thank you for tuning in to another episode of Apex Vision TV. Our original plan was to go to Cars and Coffee Scottsdale, but um, I'm assuming because it's summertime, you know, it's kind of dead right now. It's too hot. You will see cars pulling up, and they'll be there like two, three minutes. They'll leave. Um, so we actually ended up going to these dealerships. So right now we're at Port North, North Scottsdale. Go ahead and give it a turn. And um, I'm standing next to a GT3 and a GT3 RS. So. I've always liked the regular version a bit more. Um, yeah, the RS is faster, it's lighter, but they just look a little bit cleaner to me. Um, let's do a little bit of a slow walk around. You can kind of tell right away. Um, the GT3 is the 991, 991.2 GT3. It's not the manual, it's uh, the PDK double uh, double clutch. But I mean, look, look how big the brakes are. Um, those are the rear brakes, it's crazy. But yeah, you just walk around it. Carbon ceramics. Carbon ceramics, man. Michigan Michelin Pilot Sport Cup two tires. Really like this color too. Um, then you got the GC3 RS. It's a little bit wider. You got the uh, the intake on the side. GT3s in general are special, but the GC3 RS is that much better. It has the front brake ducts. So this is, in the front. this is the pure like track edition, right? This is the better version of the, the, the track car. Essentially, you got an NA 500 horsepower, four liter, 2019. Um, I really, really like these threes, man. Like I told you, the money off the regular one mm -hmm. over the RS for whatever reason. I always, I think the wing just looks that much, that much more subtle to me, but you can't go wrong with these. There are a lot of people's favorite drivers track cars and um as you can see it's on sale for 241,000 this is 2019 yeah and uh i get porsche credit though because when they first came out with the 991 gt3 people were upset because it wasn't a manual then the 991.2 they brought back the manual so shout out to porsche you know they listen to their fans a real purist company you can even see this one has the stickers on it Instead of uh, you know, the emblem. Yeah, they they killing all those 911 R owners, huh? Yeah, killing the 911 R owners. Um, if I had to rank the GT3s, I would go 997, 991, then 996. Um, let's see what they do next. All right. Um, just a quick little walk around this GT2 RS over there. We're gonna go to that one next. Same one at Bear Jackson. So what we got right here, bro? Woo. That legendary 991 GT2 RS. Oh my gosh, this thing is cold. I'm gonna just let you film around it for a minute. This is crazy. Got the carbon fiber everywhere. The red trim on the seats. It's $369,000 car. Sheesh. The center lugs. On the Sport Cup 2s, just like the GT3. Carbon fiber wing, bigger than your dinner table. Sheesh. This is a Porsche to have, huh? Absolutely. Um, Brother. Big boy power. Big all right, boy power. so, so uh, we are huge fans of GT2s, um, let alone the RS. This thing is an absolute monster. You got you got a 700 horsepower held the wrap Nurburgring Nurburgring lap record for a little bit before Lamborghini came back and took it. Um, they took it with the SVJ. Yeah, the SVJ. So the Performante had it, then the GC2 RS took it, and then uh, the SVJ took it back. Um, this man. With the interior, carbon fiber, you man. Can tell, you can tell how much they did to just reduce weight. Uh -huh. Like so much of it is just open. Like this is just mesh. Yeah. Just mesh. Like, Downforce. If you come around this backside here, I'll show you something pretty crazy. You can look inside here. I don't know if the camera is gonna uh, really do it justice but you can see this is just like a pipe that's just sitting there in the bumper but 
valve controlled exhaust. Ooh, shit. All this is just yeah. mesh to save weight. Yeah. Downforce got to be retarded with this. Yeah. It's only a single element wing, but um, it's all you need. I don't know if you guys can see it. Actually says Porsche. Yeah, you can see it, bro. Porsche. Camera. We got we got the good camera, man. <laughs> I'm used to using the iPhone. So. Yeah, we used to using the iPhone, but wow, man, absolutely I'm beautiful car. Speechless. This is so I got a question: Are they gonna make a regular GT2, and or should they? My opinion is I don't think they should. Why um, not? Because I disagree. Only because well, yeah, you know I played that with advocate, but um it's exactly what it's supposed to be it's a track monster i probably wouldn't really even think about dailying it but why why make another one when you already have the pinnacle i just can't wait to see what they do in the next generation that's gonna be crazy okay so i will say i think they should have made a regular gt2 because if they wanted to i'm sure they could have still got that lap record then they could have done the rs and broke it even further um and you know as extreme as it is some some people like the more subtle like i like the wings that don't necessarily look 100 percent gt3 mm -hmm. gt2 but you seen that, that you that, seen that mr team did a a modified gt2 rs and already beat the svj did oh no i didn't but um, but obviously that's not a production car yeah but, um, one thing that is cool is the um the the gt racer version of this where it's a one make series um i forget the name of it but it's a one make series of the gt2 rs so um yeah so that was us walking around drooling over we just gonna call this drooling over a 911 gt right, so um I know it was a big deal when it first came out. Everybody had a had an opinion on it. Um, the old Porsche Panamera right here. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna give our opinion on the old one, the new sedan, and then the, the white. Um, right away, I will say, when the first Panamera first came out, I did not like it. I thought it was hideous because of that rear haunch. Um, the CEO at the time was like 6'6 six, six or something. He just, he was crazy tall. So he was like, I'm not making a four door Porsche unless I can sit comfortably in the back of it. Um, so we'll start right there. We'll go around the back. Um, again, they accelerate. You know, they're known for the acceleration, but this one, there was just, I would take an Audi RS6 or RS4. There was just other cars I would take over this Panamera. But um, you come right here, you can, you can see the progression. And from left to right is the order. That's the order I like the best, the wagon, then the new sedan, then the old one. Um, I do really, I really, really like this brown color on both of them. It's about the same color. Um, the wheels look outdated, like Dom said. Uh, how you feeling about them, Dom? Yeah, I kind of, you know, feel the same sentiment. I never was like a huge Panamera fan. Um, but coming through the years, like the, the wheels on this one stand out to me like right away. These just make the car look dated. Um definitely seemed like it was a more you know what, what am i thinking like maybe an older person drove it they weren't so much into the flash but as soon as you get over here to like the more sport additions or the newer bodies first thing off the bat is you see bigger wheels you know more exciting sport wheels fill up the wheel well more um i'm a sucker for wagons so this turismo is definitely going to be my favorite one of the lineup um, I think what Porsche is doing with the Panamera now is amazing, and um, I really like to see where they're going with it. What did you say the hybrid one was called? Um, the Panamera. There's the Turbo E Sport E Hybrid, I think. Um, that one has 700 horsepower. You got to think these cars are all-wheel drive, twin turbo V8s, so the acceleration is literally violent. It's just violent acceleration. Um, I watched the videos, the straight pipes yesterday. Um, it was the Panamera GTS uh, Sport Turismo. And man, I was drooling over it. I watched the AMG uh, 63 video afterwards, but I was still drooling over the Pan the Porsche a bit more. Um, but I mean, the shape in general is the shape that Porsches uh, went from, you know, the big, the bigger uh, rear lights to these these thin, thin LED yeah, I like lights the with thin the pop-up lights, with the pop-up wings. They kind of copy the 991, um, the yeah. 911 lights uh, same design philosophy across uh, all their cars um 
these are actually the Panamera 4s so these are uh, V6s but the, still the look is very similar to the sports also the 4 the 4S then is the they're both twin turbo V6s I believe so yeah, yeah I, I know these so. and then, I think uh, they're 3.0 liter and then uh this is a 4 that's a 4S this one's unbadged I didn't check the front and then that's a 4 as well they do have the uh I know the GTS is the twin turbo V8 one. I'm, I think it's a hot V design, but I'm not 100% sure on that. But yeah, um, wish the turbo was out here because the wing pops out that much more on the turbo. You know, it comes up and then oh, it comes it out, out too. Yeah. yeah, versus this one right here, just being like a regular, um, still cool, regular pop-up wing. Um, yeah, so that was a quick little walk around.